So do you wanna get better at security? What are some of the certificates that you should be looking at to get if you wanna get better at security? There's a whole range out there, but we're gonna be covering my top five. Anyone who's aspiring to become a security analyst, an engineer, a manager, maybe a CISO, a chief information security officer, should get some of these. And these are just gonna be really good to add to your already existing skill set in tech. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I love VMware. I'm a big supporter of VMware for virtualization. I love running VMware locally on premise, but I also love running VMware on the cloud. One of my favorite cloud providers is a private hosting company called Liquid Web. You can actually run VMware directly on their cloud and it's absolutely brilliant. And because it is a private cloud, it's fully managed. So Liquid Web, they look after the workflows. They take care of everything else. So all the cloud infrastructure, all of the operating systems, the services, you just look after your VMs themselves. They're also VMware professional solution provider partners. And all of their cloud solutions are VMware cloud verified. They have a great support team. 24-7, 365 days a year. So easily reachable if you ever need any sort of help. So check out the description of this video to actually get a link so you can sign up to Liquid Web. Some of these are almost a little bit introductory and then some of them build on top of them. There's like some that are more manager focus. If you wanna focus a little bit more on hacking and penetration testing, then there's a cert for that as well. These are the more common ones. There are others out there. And of course, this is just certs that are cybersecurity focused, right? Because if you're in the tech industry, then there are certs on systems and on networks. There's Microsoft certs, there's certs on virtualization technologies, there's certs on the cloud, there's certs in networking. They're all good to have as well. So here are some of the more common certs that I recommend that you should be going for. The first is the CompTIA in security. Now this particular cert is completely vendor neutral. It's not for a specific type of firewall type of security product, but it's designed to validate some foundational skills and knowledge in info security. You then have to pass this security plus exam covering threats, attacks, vulnerabilities, technologies and tools, architecture and design, identity and access management, risk management, cryptography and PKI. And to be eligible for this particular CompTIA security cert, you need to ideally have two years of experience in IT administration with a focus on security. So if you're an IT admin, a security person, a networking person who has had involvement in security at least for two years, then you can look at going for this one. The CISSP or the Certified Information System Security Professional. This cert is a one of the most widely recognized and respected certs in the world. It's the one that you need to have. It's almost like one of those foundational ones. And it's designed to validate your skills and your knowledge, the skills and knowledge required to effectively design, to implement and to manage information security programs. These are sort of a good foundational summary on what you should be skilling yourself up for. The first is security and risk management. The second is asset security. Then we've got security, architecture, and engineering, communication, network security, identity and assessment management, security assessment and testing, security operations, and software development security. And essentially to be eligible for this cert exam, you need to be able to have had at least five years of relevant work experience in two or more domains. Those uh, with a four year college degree or experience that is very, very close to that, may also qualify for a one year experience waiver. So it's always good to be able to have that on world experience before you actually do go and take that cert because they are gonna require you to have that in a working environment before you can get it. Now to prepare for this exam, you as a candidate, you need to be able to attend a training course provided by a certified instructor or you can do your study on your own. And then once you've got this, you need to make sure that you need to be able to maintain it. And you also need to be adhering to the CISSP code of ethics. Then you've got the CISA or the Certified Information Systems Auditor. Now this is a little bit more auditing focused, but essentially this cert is designed to validate the skills and knowledge required to audit, control, monitor information systems. It's ideal for individuals who are responsible for ensuring the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability of info systems, such as IT auditors, 
information security auditors, and information technology professionals. Now, this really depends on where you want to go in your career, but you may not actually want to get this one if you're not going to be doing any form of auditing. Now, to be able to pass this cert, you need to have at least one of these five domains, one of these five topics on information security auditing. First is understanding the information systems auditing process. What is that all about? Governance and the management of IT, understanding information system acquisition, development and implementation, information systems operations, maintenance and service management, and protection of information assets. You need to have at least five years of relevant work experience in information system auditing control or security. So at least if you got one of those, you're in a good position. The next is the SISM. I like the SISM, the Security Information Security Manager. This is a cert designed to validate the skills and knowledge required to develop and manage an enterprise information security program. This is now more management focused. This is gonna be now aimed at leaders, at managers, heads of security, managers in security, your CISOs, your chief information security officers, and other forms of IT consultants. And to become a CISM certified professional, you must be able to pass, of course, the exam, covering a lot of different topics, including the security governance, information information risk management, information security program development and management. We want to look at incident management. Now for this one, you do have to have at least five years of relevant work experience in information security with at least three years in the domains covered in this exam. A CEH or a certified ethical hacker designed to validate the skills and the knowledge required to identify vulnerabilities, weaknesses in computer systems and networks. And then using some of those tools and techniques as if you're a malicious hacker to be able to secure them. So you need to know how a hacker thinks. You need to understand the tools of the trade, how a hacker does their thing. You're not unethical like an unethical ethical hacker, you're a ethical hacker. And you will need to be on top of a number of different sorts of topics in this exam. And that includes things such as how to scan networks, enumeration, vulnerability analysis, and what to look out for there, how to do system hacking, how to look into malware threats, sniffing, social engineering, information around denial of service, hijacking, evading the IDSs, the firewalls and the, any honeypots, how to hack web servers, how to hack web applications, understanding around SQL injections, how to hack wireless networks, how to hack mobile platforms, IoT or the Internet of Thing hackers. For this cert, you need to be able to prove that you have been working for at least two years in a relevant work experience or that you go and actually do some authorized training course by a certified instructor. I always recommend getting yourself a lab. Get yourself a lab built, build yourself some Windows, some Linux servers on there, and then go and play around with some of the things that we've learned on here. Going and trying it yourself is the best way to learn. I mean, something that I love is Kali Linux, K-A-L-I. Build yourself a virtual machine with Kali Linux. There's a whole bunch of tools on there, and it's one of the greatest tools that you can use to learn some of the stuff in this ethical hacking course. If you wanna become better at security, look at getting one of these five. And of course, some of these will require you to have had the experience in the workplace in the first place to actually be able to do it and get the cert. Let me know down below which of these five you're looking at getting. And then maybe once you've got it, come back and let us know. Let me know your comments. We'll see you next time.